thank you so much for 60 subscribers. And today's video isn't an or any ordinary video. Wait, I just have to do something. I'm calling sick. No anti-camera pop. Okay, I'm just going to end here. Okay, so I'm just going to remove all these settings and stuff. So disable and as well I'm going to remove that. Okay, so you might be wondering what will we do in today's video. Since it's a special video, we're going to be doing a little different type of video. I'm going to be teaching you how to become a successful YouTuber. As well, it might not only mean thumbnails and stuff like that. It doesn't need to be stuff like thumbnails. And it is will make you successful, yes. But not only that you will need for a successful YouTuber. A loud, strong voice. Don't be shy. As well, many other things. Because being a YouTuber is a big thing. And I was really happy. I was like over the moon when I was a YouTuber. And as well, I've changed so much. I've seen lots of videos to, to be a successful YouTuber, and I decided to do a video myself. It's a 600, it's a 60 sub special. Eek! So, anyways, let's just get on in today's video. So, the first tip: how to become a successful YouTuber is to speak loudly. You will need to speak loudly, and you have to encourage the audience and. Speak in a very loud voice, that will help your audience, like Leah Ash, like me. So, I really suggest that, otherwise if you're like, and yet you barely even speak, that will not be that good. Oh gosh, guys, so sorry, um, I have to just speak. Ah! Oh no, gosh, oh gosh, guys. Anyways, I should have ignored that, but anyways, it's... Very important to be a YouTuber and you've got to speak loudly. So, another tip is to do thumbnails and as well do and speak. If don't do and do speaking videos, I suggest you don't do any chat videos like Dai Dai does. She has an, I know, an issue of her recording system, but if you're shy, it's okay, I understand. But um, so I do would do speaking videos. Another tip is. So tip three. Another tip is to do lots of editing. I suggest you look and see others' videos. That's why I watch YouTube a lot. So then I will get inspired by others' videos as well. I got many ideas. Another thing as well is that another tip is that it's very important uh, to have, you know lots of ideas for videos because otherwise if it's just playing around and adopt me it wouldn't be that much fun so i suggest you come up with your own ideas as well do lots of giveaways to interest viewers and um, yes so stuff to entertain your viewers as well try and talk to them and get unleash the comments so then you can talk to them as well do live streams and get a company you like not a company maybe a friend or a family to help you in your youtube channel like my parents helped me a lot and so guys i have a bit more to say and then i'm gonna do another video so Another thing is that you have to do lots of ideas for your viewers and as well, I suggest if you're doing, you could do Twitter or TikTok and say your socials, as well I suggest you could do an intro and it's a very good idea to do an intro and the conclusion, maybe, and it can be anything, a PowerPoint as well. Don't do stuff that aren't your that are your opinion. And most of the time, don't say stuff that are your opinion and they're a bit bad. Like for example, I don't like real height. That's not true, Bobby. Please, it's not true. For example, don't say that in your videos. It would be inappropriate as well. If you're under thirteen, I suggest you don't do any videos or otherwise and get your parents to help you and make sure that you like for example do anything. But, but I suggest you do it when you're over 13, like I am. So, as well, for example, as well, I suggest if you ha use the OBS Studio 
but you, it has a lot of settings, so otherwise you could use StreamYard that another friend of mine uses. So, there are many stuff that you could use, and very helpful hints. But guys, it's really all for today's video and all I could actually come up with. So, bye-bye uh, for now, I guess.